So are you telling me I can't do my job? I'm sorry, Mr. Ingram gave specific instructions. No noise of any kind. He's working, he doesn't want to be disturbed. Oh, it smells delicious. Is it nearly done? Are you kidding me? No, it needs to simmer for perfection. It must not be disturbed. You speed it up and you break all the glorious flavors. So are you a cook or a chef, or is there a difference, really? Would you like to join me? If you insist. Mm. I want to say this is uh, surprisingly tasty. No, I do miss a good burger. There's a place near my ranch that makes the best burgers. Great steak, too. Well, I should know. They use my cattle for the beef. Ah, oh, shit! Carl Ingram finally gets what he deserves. Good riddance. Now let's get Marcus Stuyvesant. will be yeah have you managed to find that bottle of 60 year old i'm sorry sir we are still looking but you have a bottle right it has to be 60 years old of course the royal highness has the best selection in the world good let me know when you found it Excuse me, sir. Here is the fine whiskey that you ordered. About time. Thank you. A pleasure. Enjoy. Oh, uh, <coughs> oh, shit. Oh. We got him, 40 
7. Soon there will be no more Providence. You need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from over. Would you like to join me? Well, I suppose I could. Mm. I want to say this is uh, surprisingly tasty. No, I do miss a good burger. There's a place near my ranch that makes the best burgers. Great steak, too. Well, I should know. They use my cattle for the beef. The best meat in the world. I used to own a few slaughterhouses back in the day, but gave it up. I don't like the way they butcher the animals these days. It's conveyor belt genocide. So impersonal. So I sold them. You have to do what you have to do. Well, that was delicious. Thank you. Better get back to work. You're welcome. I hate to eat alone. Would you join me? If you insist. I used to own restaurants. A dozen or so. Michelin stars. If they didn't have at least two, I'd sell them. I only own the best. But then those pansy TV chefs started dominating, and lo and behold, everyone was all of a sudden, uh, what's the word? Oh yeah, foodies. What a ridiculous name. Suddenly, everyone was a big shot chef. An insult to the profession, if you ask me. Ah, lost interest after that. You are what you eat. That was a great meal. Compliments to you. Right, I should get back to work. My pleasure. 